In order to create a fill in the blanks item in your document, you add a content control. These items are found on the developer tab, so the first thing you need to do is show the developer tab on the ribbon. Right click on the ribbon, like right about there, choose customize ribbon, place a check mark in the developer tab, click OK, and the developer tab appears on the screen. Position the cursor where you want to have the fill in the blank item appear. I'm going to put it right here after your name. I'm going to click the developer tab and choose the rich text content control. That inserts this box into the text. You've probably seen these before in some of Word's sample templates. Click or tap here to enter text. I'm going to customize it just a little bit. Click the properties for the content control and type a title which shows up and helps the user understand what it is they need to type. And in this case it's going to be your name. I'm going to apply a format here so that the text is underlined and create a new style and just have that style be a character style with the underline attribute applied. This will be applied to the rich text content control and you see the your name appear there. That doesn't show up until someone actually selects the text but when they do all of it's selected and then they can type their name or whatever. And that's a fill-in-the-blank content control. It may not be exactly what you want. It's not as beautiful as the fill-in-the-blank items you find in an Acrobat document in a PDF. But this is how Word does it. It's called a content control. It's found on the Developer tab in the Controls group. Be sure to choose the Rich Text Content Control if you want to apply Underline as an attribute.